Hey guys, it's Josh Rossi with CompositePlanet.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Josh Rossi Photo. What we're going to be doing today is blurring a propeller. So this is something that will make the picture or the image that you're doing a lot more realistic. And let's just cut to the chase and I'm going to show you how to do this. So the original looks something like this. Now all you got to do is just select out your propeller first of all. So I'm going to do this by hitting L, hitting the lasso tool. L on the keyboard, selecting that, hitting Shift Command I to invert the selection and then delete. Then what I'm going to do is go to my eraser and maybe make that um, a little bit more feathered, that color right there. Okay, perfect. So now that you got your propeller here, you can see it's just separate. What you want to do is make a copy of it. So hit down, hit Option or Alt and just drag it down there. Now the reason why we're making a copy is because this thing in the middle we're not going to blur and we're going to use that later to um, so we can keep that part sharp. So now go to your top layer and you're just going to blur this. So go filter, blur, motion blur. And you want to blur this at about 108 pixels for this specific image. And what I'm doing is turning this to a negative 15 angle just like that. I don't want it really straight because the blur looks maybe a little bit weird, but that's fine. I'm just going to do a little angle right there. Okay, so then you hit OK. And then what you want to do is turn down the opacity a little bit, maybe around 50%, 40%. So now we have a pro another problem where we don't have any blur coming off this way, which doesn't make sense. So what we need to do is create blur by um, doing a simple trick. Just create a blank layer. I'm just going to call it blur. All you're going to do on this layer is go to your brush and paint at 100% opacity with black. All you want to do is just paint one right there and one right there to simulate the propellers. So then do the same exact thing. Go filter, blur, motion blur, except this time you are going to blur straight up and down to simulate you know, the, the motion here. I'm going to actually turn this up a little bit more. So it's a little bit more blurred and hit OK on the keyboard. Okay, one thing you might need to do is sculpt this a little bit because this is looking like a triangle. So you can hit E on the keyboard, go to your eraser tool, and just sculpt that a little bit. So it's really simple. Just make it look like it's going in a circle. And then you can hit um, V on the keyboard, which is your cursor, and just sort of bring this play around with it. You know, you can make it a little bit bigger. And then you want to turn the opacity down as well on that. So you can see the effect that that does. It just adds a tiny, tiny blur, but it makes everything look a lot more realistic. Okay, so same thing on this other side. What you're going to do is hit down Option or Alt and just drag what you've already done. Hit Command T and just flip this. Just like that and just put it into place. So I'm just moving this into place with my arrow keys. So this looks sort of like a blurry mess right now. We're going to fix that. That is why we created this layer down here, which is going to be the middle part. So what we want to do is drag this to the top. So it's nice and shiny, not covered by all that blur. And then you want to just erase these propellers here. So I'm just going to go to E on my keyboard. And you can just erase right here. I'm just erasing at around 50% opacity. Something like this. Okay, and then you erase these over here. Now one other thing you're going to need to do here is simulate the blur across the middle portion here. So you want to erase some of that as well. Just like that. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to back up a little bit and see how that looks. And just make um, a few last adjustments on this layer right here. I'm going to erase a little bit Right around there Bring that in a little bit more and We turn down the opacity just barely. Okay, so there you go guys. That is how you make a propeller look like it is actually spinning it's a really simple way. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Check out compositeplanet.com for more free tutorials and pro tutorials. We are doing competitions and posting a bunch of free content every day. So check it out and subscribe to our newsletter to get a free pro tutorial. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you again soon.